All right, hello, friends and followers. Well, here's a moment of truth on this bracket I've been working on for that World War II video. This thing is an utter disgrace, but I don't really have a machine shop. So I did the best I can with a hand grinder and hand drill, and I was able to grind this down so it might fit in the radio. The only thing now I have left to do is uh, tap these out for a little um, 6 slash 32 nuts that came with this radio. In fact, they look like this. These are the ones that were used. So I've picked up a DeWalt tap set. This thing was all of $54 expensive and I couldn't find just one little tap. So I had to buy the whole set and I'm gonna attempt to tap this thing. So. They do give you drills, which is nice, and I suppose the, the smallest drill is the one for the 632. I'm assuming that this small drill bit is for the 6 slash 32. There's the actual tap now in the uh, tap holder, or, or, or tap, I'm not sure what this thing's called, but it's in there. I probably have two or three of these things lying around in the garage somewhere. I just can't ever find them, so they're buried. Anyway. So now it's important for me to drill some straight holes in this thing. Because these holes are so far over, almost at the end, it's dubious I'm gonna get this right, but that would make all this work and this thing go down the drain. So I wanna hopefully have a successful outcome here. Let's get to it. I finally did find my little measuring paper that I had for that. Here it is, so. Yeah, I did, I did trace around this old one. I did get this to be a semblance of water enough that I could trace holes around it and make it work. So I'm hoping that I did this accurately enough with this template that this is gonna be a good replica of the whole pattern on the radio. Because the socket and the wire are still on the radio, it's hard to really get this thing down there. So I, I finally figured out that I was only going to make this thing, well, here's the whole problem. This thing was only like 28 millimeters across, maybe 27. And I found out that I needed 29 millimeters. So I used a huge drill bit, which was really painful and spent like an hour or something drilling a 29 millimeter hole through here. And now the, the power plug fits in there, but I mean, without a lathe using a hand drill, it just came out looking like a real mess. It, it's shameful. But anyway, hopefully this thing will work. So, and I kind of fouled it off there with a grinder to get it to uh, to fit into the radio receptacle where this thing goes, little little hole where this thing lives. So now it's simply time to uh, drill some holes, and maybe I'll drill this first, this this one here first. So I have a little hole punch thing here that I've been using. Um, this thing is really handy. It's just a hole puncher. You can. You can basically uh, just set a hole here or or set a uh, place for the drill bit to uh, center and work. So that's what I'm doing. I'm repunching these and it makes quite a loud noise. Okay, let's see if I can get this thing to go. I'm on high speed. Let's drill this first hole and see how it runs through here. Straight down. Okay. Didn't hit the table, luckily, and now can we tap it? So, uh, I probably should have some oil in this tap. Uh, do I have any oil around here? Ah, I'll, I'll lube it up with some, uh, yeah, I got some oil. I'll put some grease on it. Let's do that. Let's be nice people, right? So, all I have to do here Alright, here's the uh, synthetic grease that I use on Drake's. This ought to be enough to uh, get this tap not to break. 
when you tap threads, you want to tap in and then tap out, tap in, tap out. So you turn in, turn out, turn in, turn out. You never go in straight because that will never work. You never keep turning until it breaks because it will break. All right, a little dab of, little dab of uh, grease there. And we'll try to get this first one done. See how it goes. I guess I can tap it like this. I don't care. I should lay it flat. And turn in. Yeah, it's gripping. So you want to turn in until it grips the threads a little bit. This is aluminum, so it's not so bad. And once you get a few threads going here, turn it out a bit. And then back in. And then out a bit. Right, and then back in. And then out a bit. And then back in. And then out. So that's working well. Um, yeah, you might want to make sure some grease is down that hole there. And go at it some more. All right. Turning in, out. Turning in, out. Turning in, out. And how are we doing here? Turning in. It's not coming through yet, but it almost is. Out, in, out, in, out. So this is going along well, right? And out, and in. And now you don't want to wobble too much. It'll mess the threads up, but it looks good. Now I'm going to dial it all the way through. So it just pops out and screw it a little bit. So, it, well, is it going through? Maybe not. I don't think it is. I think I stripped it. Oh, what happened is my handle is uh, not working here. What a bummer. Okay, so let's tighten the handle a bit. Let's see, clockwise, yep. There we go. Ah, uh, it's like, what's wrong with this thing? And now let's go out. And in, and out, and in, out, and in. Well, yeah, it doesn't like that. Out, in. So my handle has issues. I don't want to tighten this too much and smash the bit. Well, there's another little tug on it. It's like, I tend to break things, you know? All right, out, in, and out. So yeah, you don't want to really force it. Just keep going out. And maybe if you go out a lot and keep going in just a little bit, it will work out. And sure enough, there it is coming through there. So this is how to tap threads in aluminum. There's a uh, blog I saw called Solder Smoke where uh, a couple of amateur radio guys were doing the same thing on a heatsink block. All right, well, that's working out well. Now, you want this to eventually turn nicely. And uh, I might put some grease on it. Just because we are cautious and going back to Home Depot and wasting another $54, right? So there's some threads and stuff on there. You want to get some of this stuff off of here. And... Uh, Put all the paper and stuff on here. Yuck. How did this thing turn out? This should not be harmed by aluminum, and I'm looking at it now. It looks like it got some wear there. I'm just going to dip it in the grease here, a little bit of grease. There, a little bit of grease on there. Let's go back in here. Yeah, it looks like it's threaded real nice, doesn't it? So make sure it goes all the way through so the screw doesn't have any problems. Yeah, it's going through nice now. Yeah, so I think this is done. This hole, is, yeah, it's really good now. So this is done. So now you want to check it with one of the radio screws and see if it works. The screw should wind finger tight without any friction or issues or cross-threading. So there we are. It's all done. That is threaded. All right. I haven't done this in a long time. I think the last time I threaded something was, I had to uh, fix an engine mount on a BMW M38 engine, M28 engine, it was wrong. It had sheared off, so I was uh, 
having to rethread it. So this, I think, is the right one. Let's put them in. Hand tight. It should just thread right in if it's the correct size. Let's see if we can do it. Yeah. I think that's right. I know that this one is correct. Well, yeah, it goes in. Okay, look at that. So <clears throat> that's how it should work. Finger tight, it goes right in. Now, what I didn't account for was, is this other screw a different size? I hope not. Is this the same one or not? Probably different. I can't tell. All I know is I have, I think I have two of these down here to worry about. And uh, this one I think was all by itself. I can't tell if it's different or not. I guess I should have uh, worried about that. No, it seems like it's the same. Yeah, yeah, it's the same old, same old thread. Look at that. So we're 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 cooking with gas here. Works like a champ. So now these are toward the edge. It's going to be kind of dicey getting those to work. Got to be really careful with this darn thing. So let's drill some more holes. Let's see how it goes. Make sure you get this thing centered right. It's critical and go for it. took a while. All right, well, there's some metal left on that one. Let's try this one here. Yeah, I tried to get these so they were exactly matching the pattern and that's just how this thing turned out. Yuck. Okay, well, check it out. Looks like we still got some metal after that threader goes in there. Ugh, we'll see how that works. All right, same old thing. I'm just going to dip the threader into the uh, grease and try it that way. That seems to be the way to do it. So uh, you don't want to contaminate the grease with filings. So make sure this is cleaned off. And in we go. A little bit of grease there. Come on. I use this grease on uh, the Drake PTOs when I fix Drakes. Some guy recommended this stuff on some forum and he was right, it's good grease. All right, let's thread this guy now. I guess I should go straight down, shouldn't I? To get it copacetic and right. Here we go. Go in and don't force it. And then just, you have to get it going though. See, when you go in a little bit, when you first start off and then you back it up a little bit, so I'm going straight. This, this one's critical. Okay, going in, going in, going in. I'm gonna go out now a little bit. A little bit, a little bit. Back in. Alright, this one I think is threading. Let's go out. Let's go in. Make sure that this thing's working here. It looks kind of straight. Uh, it's probably a little bit skewed to what to the back end, which is fine because I don't have much uh, metal here to work with at all. This is really a shaky, shaky, shaky clamp. It's a shaky arrangement here. The whole thing's been a pain in the Badinsky. But when you don't have a machine shop and you don't have a degree in mechanical engineering, I don't have a 3D printer. Um, I didn't have a good even form to make a 3D print. I had nothing left except these little bits and pieces that are, I mean, how am I gonna make a cast of this? I guess I could have maybe, but, uh, do you wanna spend days doing this? It's already been like a few days of on and off work. Do I wanna spend a week making one part? I guess some people do it for a living and it works out well. All right, how's this going? Well, it's mumbling along. Gonna be conservative here, put some more grease on this devil. 
That's coming along, right? Look at that. Let's put some more grease on this thing. And we'll keep threading in. Okay. Put some more grease on this guy. There we go. A little dab of grease. And off we go. Where was I? Right there. I sure hope these holes are right. This has been a pain. I want this thing just to be done. So the plug in this thing was the electrical plug is fragile. 85 year old wiring. I don't want the plug flopping around. I still got to drill a hole in the sides. So I'm going to get to drill and come down through this hole and drill a hole here because the plug, the cannon plug, has two screws on either side. For, I guess for centering it. So I got to get those going too. But heck, who would do something this crazy, right? I guess this is like a clock maker or something. No, this is no clock. This is a crude, crude bracket. All right, I'm still going in and out, as you can see, going outward and in, trying to get this thing done. The aluminum is pretty soft, so there it goes. It just goes right through it. All right, so that is threaded now. And we're going to take the, uh, the the tap. Is this a tap or a die? This is a tap. We'll take the tap out. A die is a round thing. See that? I'm not a mechanical engineer, but I'm trying. I guess it's simple auto mechanics 101, right? All right, so that's done. And I guess I can leave some grease in there for the uh, the real threading. So what's what here? Looks like I got that one done. Give it the uh, test with a screw here. Look at that. It goes right in. See that? That's what you want. Hallelujah for that. Now, we got one more to go right there. Let's put some uh, grease again on this uh, tap. Make sure the tap is clean. Grease it up. Yeah. And we got one more hole to go here, right here. So again, as we remember, the starting it is kind of risky, so put it down and be serious about it and just uh, straight in. And I might lean it toward the back a little bit just so it's a little cockeyed, but I don't want it going toward the front where there's no material. I got two out of three done here, so I can't screw this up, right? You're like, yeah, right, screw it up. Okay. Out and in a little bit, and we go out. Back in, out. Okay, let's keep doing it. Let's go in and then out and in. How much time on the clock here? 18 minutes doing this? Holy smoke, these people. Sorry. If you want to know how to thread, this is it. This is your lesson and not have troubles. All right. Coming along here. There's our little tap coming out the uh, top there. So the screws might be too long. I don't know, but we'll see how it turns out. Like I said, I didn't have much of a, uh, a template. This thing was like just. I shouldn't have bought this radio because that this has been a real headache to fix this thing. I had no idea, but I'm at the end of the road. With the radio now, um, everything's been fixed pretty much except for this bracket. So I put this off to last because I figured if the radio wasn't going to work anyway, it doesn't need a power bracket, right? So how do you like that thinking? Aluminum is interesting. Aluminum kind of flakes off. It's not like steel at all. I still am not a metallurgist. just don't understand much about aluminum, but it's pretty interesting stuff, right? All right, let's go in here again, not strip it. Get down to where we were. 
And yeah, looking at a little tooth coming out there, forward and back. Did I get the drill all the way through there? I think I did, right? Yeah, it looks fine. You can see the shavings coming out of there, forward and back, forward and back. When you go back, it takes the shavings and it kind of takes them down the rim of this die. Or, or this is a tap, I'm sorry, it takes it down the rim of the tap, so. All right, so I really wanna make sure this tap is gonna come out. Looks like it is pushing out some debris there. I wanna make sure it comes out the top and doesn't strip because it can't go any further. Oh yeah, it's coming through, so yeah, we got it. Okay, let's keep going. Back and forward, back and forward, back and forward. Okay, it's coming out, yep. Now is it gonna hit the side? No, it'll come straight out. Yeah, it's coming straight out. All right, let's go back and forward, back and forward, back and forward. I wanna see it go smooth. Okay, there's, there it's just about done. Now it's done. Thank goodness we're done. Okay, so that takes care of all three screw holes now. Are they correct? I hope so. So that takes care of that. Now, I just gotta drill a hole in the side of this thing and put it on the radio. See if it'll go on. So that's that. All right, so we're, we're done tapping um, six slash 32 holes. Three of them have been tapped. And uh, there's our holes, one hole, one hole there, and one hole there. And hopefully those will match the radio. That yeah, looks a little crooked there. It's going in crooked, but... Ah. Horseshoes, hand grenades. I'm not a machinist, as you can tell. I should put some tape around here, because that's pretty sharp stuff for the wires. Put some tape around there. And I'll do that. So we have one problem left. We have to get the uh, drill through this hole. We have to drill a corollary hole out the other end for the uh, set screw on the power plug. I would show you the power plug, but it's on the radio like it always is, and I can't get it off because it's soldered on, and I don't want to remove the power plug because I just don't. So that's how it is. All right, so what drill bits are these guys giving us here? I got that one, which would destroy that hole for sure. So what I'll do is I'll use this one and just come through here and try and come through straight. And then I'll go in this way, a little, little bigger. Let's do that. And that's how we're going to get the um, Canon P-Connector. has two uh, screws at, at 180 degrees from each other. And uh, look at all that crap there, though. Let's get rid of that stuff. Let's get a clean house here. Maybe somewhat of a clean house, right? Faithful wastebasket here. And in goes the filings. There they are, they're all in there. All right, and this little guy, put him away. So I think I'm ready to get the drill. Here's a bit I used for the uh, 630 seconds, which came with kit. That worked out really well. That's worth its weight in gold, right? I don't know it's worth $54, but I guess if you're making custom parts, what are you gonna do? With inflation, yeah, that's probably worth 30 bucks a year ago. All right, so can I wing this thing? I don't like winging things like this. Uh, Wingy dingy do, right? So I want to make this thing go straight through. I guess I could measure it, huh? Uh, I should measure it. I'm just going to do it visually. Visually, it looks like that's it. Um, how does it look to you, people? Okay, so let's make sure it's level. It's level. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's spin the sucker. Am I gonna wreck my hand? No, not yet. 
should have a vice, right? All right, so that is through there. I want to make that hole bigger because I do, because the set screw is large, or larger for the pin. Okay, um, Siri, please stop. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 7.48 p.m. Alexa, what is the temperature outside? Right now, it's 43 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight, expect a low of 31 degrees. Here we go. All right, in we go. Whoa. I need a vice. Okay, aluminum. All right, so... That worked out, and if I can't make these P-connector um, holes work out right, yikes, I guess I can see straight through there, right? If I can't make these P-connector holes work out, I guess I can always put a set screw in there. I still have a set screw for that somewhere around here. Uh, here it is, here it is, here it is. So there's a set screw. I could put this guy back in here and make the plug jam in there. So we have two different exits to this dilemma. So, all right, this thing has now been threaded and may peace be with us. I hope this thing will just now go in. Um, I'm gonna try and put some tape around here and install this thing and I'll, I'll catch you in the next video. Hopefully this little template uh, was correct. I guess we're gonna find out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and tap on.